Hi guys, this is Srikant. Today in this session, we are going to talk about the one of the new feature in SQL Server uh, that is CDC. That is Change Data Capture. CDC. So, the what exactly change data capture means? First, we'll try to understand it. Change means change. Okay, and data what we have the information converted that what we call as a data and whatever we have in the table that all thing is called as a data and capture is something to capture all the things at any time at any moment so the change data capture is a, is a is a concept of capturing all the data at any time right if today i had some data and today i'm not seeing that data what does it mean it means something has been changed and so i want to I want to find it out what was changed, what was earlier value was there, what was the change in middle and what is the present value of that. So I will get all the data, I will get all the change and I will capture all the things, right. So this is really very important. So before uh, starting to the actual practical, I would like to say, I don't just assume I don't know anything and i want to understand the cdc i'm the blank one and i want to understand cdc then only it will be easy for you to understand the cdc in a very shorter time uh, basically it is very easy concept but you have to understand very carefully so uh, it's not that much complex but it's it's a bit bit complex i can say but it's easy if we try to uh, listen my video carefully so uh, there are a few steps we have to follow to understand the cdc first we have to check that is the cdc enabled on database or not how we will check we have one sys table and that name is sys dot databases so in sys dot databases we have one column called as a name and there is one column called as is cdc enabled right so when I query this database, what will I see? I will see how many databases we have in the server and there is one column as is underscore cdc and I'm unable to to flow. Right, okay. So right now I don't have any database on my server which where I can start my development. So I just have the report server database which I can't use and another are the system databases. So what will I do first? I will go on database and I will create one new database and the name I will give as change data capture right so I'm creating this database now what we what I'm going to do I am again querying and I will see here the new entry in the database list and that is change data capture and the flag which is for is underscore cdc enabled is, is zero it means what the cdc is not enabled on this database so what we have to go what we have sorry what we have to do we have to go in our database how will you do that we'll go use then then here we have to first enable the CDC. How we will do that? We have a system procedure sp underscore cdc underscore enable underscore db. Okay, so we'll execute this procedure. So the CDC will be enabled on the on that particular database. Sorry, we have the we can't uh, enable it on master because there are some reasons. So we'll talk about that later. So we have to select our particular database and then we have to run the query. So when I execute this procedure against my newly created database that is change data capture uh, again i'm querying the data on that but this is dot database table so what will i see so there is a one flag called is cdc enabled the value for that flag should be one it means what the cdc is enabled on that particular database okay so in this video we have seen uh, what exactly the cdc that is change data capture uh, how I can check the CDC is enabled or not on my particular database or how many database CDC is enabled or not this way we can understand hope you like this video if you like this video please don't forget to share and subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching